Guess what just came in the mail? Yep, buddy. Let's see here. How can we do this with one hand? Can I do it with one hand? Hmm, I don't think I'll be able to. Maybe if we go this route. Yep, yes sir. Let's see what we got here. Man, look at that. So, this is our new thermal paste iteration of Arctic cooling or Arctic thermal paste MX-7. Um, this actually just hit the market, so we're going to be testing it today. And uh, we'll be using our this here graphics card. It's an MSI Seahawk that the uh, owner decided to just donate to the channel. Thank you. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so here's a little package. Let's go ahead and get this opened up, yeah? All right, so what do we have here? Okay, there's nothing, no instructions or nothing how to use thermal paste, shame on them. But here's your little package. This thing focusing, yeah, here we go. And um, Arctic is saying it's this stuff here is about two degrees better than MX6. If you go to their website and look this up, that's what it says. So let's see if that is true. All right, so this graphics card here um, supposedly came with freshly added thermal paste. Now, I don't know what that means as far as newly added thermal paste, what kind of thermal paste that is. I have no clue. I have no idea. Um, but I have tested this paste. I've had it in the, uh, <laughs> in the furnace, so to speak, and it is terrible. Um, this thing will be thermal throttling if I just let it go like that. Uh, under the parameters that we're going to be using, okay? So if you've just set everything to stock, I'm pretty sure the thermal paste will work just fine, but yep, not how I like to test graphics cards. <laughs> when I do these videos, locking fans, restricting frequency, that sort of thing, you know. So I'm taking my time with this uh, dismantling of this graphics card. For those of you who have said graphics card and are wondering how to take this apart. Well, it'll be these three screws here that will allow you to remove the shroud. Okay. The way I want to test with this graphics card is only with the pump on. I don't want to use the uh, shroud like at all. So this will be uh, set aside for this test or these tests. And this is what it looks like. Uh, in order to remove this pump, simple actually. That's why I thought this will be a good uh, candidate for this test. We have to remove these four screws. Okay, and here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man, look at that. That is a horrible contact there. Let's see here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's not making good contact. Same goes for this here. That's poor contact there. But uh, anyway, let's clean up this garbage and uh, put us on some MX-6 and then we'll go with MX-7. All right, so let's go ahead and apply our new formula of MX-6. This is, yeah, according to Arctic, we got a new formula in our hands. So let's go ahead and get this applied. And we're gonna be pretty generous here. That's a good amount there. Let's go ahead and spread this here. Yeah, MX-6 MX is very viscous, so you have to take your time when you apply this stuff here. All right, guys. So, there we have it. Let us think, huh? Good application, yeah? I'll say so. Let's go ahead and get this 
put on here. one all right so we got this applied now yep that feels pretty solid on there let's go ahead and put it in the system all right so here's our parameters this will be locked frequency will be locked at 1600 megahertz our uh, fan speed or pump speed will be at 50 percent we're not going to mess with the voltage we're going to max out our power limit this here is our idle temperatures as you can see there power consumption so let's go ahead and get this for a ball or furry donut started let's minimize this and here we go that's our starting temperatures there and that's how we got the card set up in the system just a pump directly on the core. All right, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, my peeps. So it looks like we have reached the end of this test. And uh, let's see what our average is looking like here. We're gonna go based on the average today for all tests. So we're averaging 65 Celsius on the GPU core or GPU temperature um, and the hot spot at 79 so 65 and 79 and we're pulling almost 300 watts by the way this is a 1080 Ti okay so yeah we'll leave that here so we'll say 65 and 79 for MX6 all right so let's see how this um, application looks like or what it looks like. All right, so let's see. All right, man, that was almost perfect. Just look at that. That looks good to me, good contact. Same here on the core, on the die. So here we go with uh, Duranoct Thermal Grizzly. This is really good stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it performs as good as the uh, the two latter or MX6 and MX7. This stuff is good stuff. Kudos to Roman from Grizzly for um, his hard work to make sure he brings some quality stuff to the market. I was not very impressed with um, Cryonaut because I had my reservations. You know, I tested that thermal paste thoroughly when it came out and let's just say I was not impressed by its performance. It's really, it's longevity, that's what got me. It just, yeah, it just wasn't there. Okay, so here we go. Same procedure. All right, let's put this in the system now. All right, and those are our starting temperatures with Duronaut. Let's get the uh, fur ball going. There we go. Minimize this. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, fellas, it's been uh, 30 minutes now with Duronaut. And let's see what the average is for this guy here. I was not expecting this since in my other test, MX6 came out on top by a couple of degrees. Now Duranaut is actually taking the lead here, but it is being tested with 300, almost 300 watts of power draw. So yeah. Duronaut likes <laughs> high temperatures. Uh, yeah, this is very actually satisfying to see. It's a good product. 
So yeah, okay. So this one goes to Duranaut. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing apart. <clears throat> and let's see what that contact looks like. Perfect. That is perfect contact there. Look at that. Don't get better than that. I would say. Okay. So, let's break into this. <laughs> um, I just had a gentleman. <laughs> I just had a guy on uh, my comments uh, say that um, um, he appreciated my last video that I made, you know, MX6 versus uh, Duranaut. And he mentioned that MX7 just came out and that it's hard to spread with the spatula. Shall we test that? <laughs> Let's go. What? This is even easier to spread than MX6. And do or not. So this is why you should never trust things that you see on Reddit, man. Whatever you read on Reddit, take it with a grain of salt. Okay, I think that ought to do it. I'll put the rest here on the, the cooler. There you go. There's your spread. Yes, it can be done with a spatula. All right, fellas, so here's our MX-7 now on the 1080 Ti. Run it for another 30 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, as with the other tests, same parameters. Those are our initial temperatures. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, fur ball here. Okay, so there we go. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Well, all right, fellas, we have reached the end of this test. And our average is actually one degree lower than do or not. It's impressive. Uh, one thing I did notice though throughout the test is that our uh, power consumption was a little more, uh, how should I say this, consistent. You know, hovering uh, between 286 and 290. And also this here, no gaps in between versus the other uh, two paste. There was sometimes, you know, gaps in between like idle and so forth. This has been capped there the whole time. Um, MX-7 here takes the cake, even if it's just by one degree. Very impressive. All right. So yeah, I think we have a new uh, king of the hill. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you appreciate the video. I'll see you in the next one. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't, uh, if you didn't like it for whatever reason, you know what to do. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.